new information from tax returns uh, from Donald Trump's foundation includes uh, some interesting contributions from people like, I don't know, the Ukrainian oligarch. So it, it turns out that the Donald J. Trump Foundation received $150,000 from a Ukrainian oligarch in exchange for a video speech Trump gave at a conference while he was a presidential candidate back in 2005. Uh, I'm sorry, 2015. This raises concerns among charity law experts who say the payments should be taxed like personal income for Trump rather than treated as tax exempt contributions to a nonprofit. So understand that Hillary Clinton also had issues with her foundation. This was one of the big criticisms that her foundation had to deal with. And it was funny because one of the biggest critics of that was Donald Trump. And now you look at his filings and you realize, oh. You look at his foundation's filings because we fi can't look at his. Yeah, you look at his foundation's <laughs> filings. Like, good clarification. And you're like, oh, I mean, that's a perfect example of, you know, like shouting about someone doing what you're doing. Um, Projection. That was the word I was Projection. looking for. Projection. No, that, yeah. that's exactly right. People do that like in relationships. You can't do that when you're president of the United States. I know so you're cheating on me and right. then you got like, you know, the man on the side and shit. Ex right. Yeah. Exactly. Not, not that I know anything about that. I don't. You wouldn't know that. Right. Okay. You've never projected ever, right? Never. No, never, no. No, no we just, have. I just projected. <laughs> um, but but the, uh, the, 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 I mean, that's right. And and these are the questions, again, like the, you, you, the hindsight stuff. And who knows what would have mattered because it, nothing mattered in this election, mm -hmm. right? So if you knew this on November 1st, okay, you knew it, and it would just have gone into some big stew of things that you knew, and 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 the, and the wrong person still won. But the the um, the whole idea that this is something going forward that's going to be part of his portfolio. And it's by the way, it's why I'm suspicious personally of yeah. his tax returns, because I think there's a lot of Russian money that's gone into investing in his real estate projects that he has, you know, has to pay, declare taxes on the interest that he's paying to them mm -hmm. or earning from them. I just sort of think that there is a, that that was what this, his whole return would have been muddied with. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm not surprised to read the stories. I would see a lot of them. And I don't think, of course, you can look at the Trump Foundation in the same way as the Clinton Foundation because they're two. First of all, the Clinton Foundation was actually an up and running foundation taking money in and giving money out. The questions were not about the legitimacy of what they were doing. It's whether it was bad practice, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and the people that they were with. Uh, this is, you know, this was a fraudulent foundation. Yeah, yes. And also, let me be clear about something. I'm, I'm mixing up this story with the story that we're about to do, uh, where he did something that could be unconstitutional. Right. In this case, it's not unconstitutional. It's just fraudulent, and he could face some serious uh, ramifications for it. Um, so again, it's the way that he gets taxed. Like, if this is personal income, he's supposed to get taxed. Yeah. And in this case, it, it appears that it was personal income, and he... Uh, you know, reported it as a contribution to the foundation. Now, according to Philip Hackney, uh, he's a, an associate professor of law, and he said, assuming Trump was giving the speech in his capacity as an individual, the payment would be income to Trump. Then Trump should have made the contribution to the foundation. Um, so again, the Clintons had uh, problems with this as well. They reported money from speeches as contributions rather than income. Such a hackneyed argument, but I mean, I think I I don't know. His name's hackneyed. That's why I said oh, it. Okay. No, so, <laughs> and um, also uh, one other thing that you should know, and this this is the part that I find very interesting because here's the reality: Do I think Trump is going to face consequences for this? No, I don't. Like I've already given up on that, to be honest with you. Like he's untouchable. He can he can literally do the exact same thing that Hillary Clinton was demonized for during uh, the campaign. And he, it doesn't matter. For some reason, when he does it, he's smart. But if Hillary did it, she's like a crooked, you know, corrupt he can politician. Call a senator of American Indian descent, Pocahontas, in Elizabeth Warren's case, he can make fun of a handicapped reporter, and he can call Mexicans rapists, and then he can become president. Yeah. So you're right. You're a thousand percent. He, right. he doesn't face any consequences. But here's another part of this that I think is really interesting. Donald Trump looks out for Donald Trump. And I think this story makes it so clear. So we know that he has a cozy relationship with Vladimir Putin. Um, after he was elected, uh, Russia was very clear about how they played a role in this election. Uh, that's not a secret, right? Um, and so Russia also has some issues with Ukraine because of, you know, what they did in Crimea, with annexing Crimea. And so 
but Trump doesn't care about all that, right? He'll play both sides, okay? I, this It's amazing. So let's go to graphic 22. In his 21-minute appearance for this uh, video for Ukraine, um, Trump appeared to suggest that Ukraine was a victim of Russian aggression because of President Obama's weak leadership and said Ukrainians weren't getting the support they need. That is freaking amazing! That is amazing! Yeah. That is amazing. So, look, Donald Trump looks out for Donald Trump. Donald Trump doesn't look out for like rural working class people who voted for him. He doesn't look out for the American people. He doesn't care about any of it. And that's going to lead us to our next story where he's already using his presidency um, to benefit his own businesses. And that is unconstitutional. Podcast the whole two hour Young Turks every single day, commercial free, all star Tuesdays, aggressive progressives, old school, post games, TYT classics. You get it all with membership. Do it now. TYTnetwork.com slash join.